So, greetings, ladies and gentle players. We are once more back on my real board going after going over a Legend 88 game who, as you can obviously see in the upper left hand corner, is black versus white, who is uh, a lovely Taijem 5 Don. Now, we're going over a Legend 88 game for the purposes of learning basic play because Legend 88 double ranked from 5 to 7 and then double ranked from 7 to 9 and then went on a massive tear at 9 Don, winning about 10 games against pros. He was really, really good and did all this cool, amazing stuff at a very, very nice basics level. So, what we are going to do now is take a look at this game where Legend 88 opens up 4-4, and Taijem 5 Don is a cheeky little bugger who opens up with a 5-4 point, if you can believe it. Now, among, 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 among the um, Legend 88 games, I do so like these games probably the best because these are players who are going with really 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 weird ideas and you can kind of see how they get dismantled some of them more aggressively than others nice calm opening from legend 88 taking up dual four four points and the cheeky bugger Taking up dual five, four points. <laughs> now, my usual go-to is this. I usually just go ahead and approach the three, four normally. Now, regretfully, that does tend to bring about, whoops, that does tend to bring about this, which if you play here, often brings about this one. And this variation can be complicated because you have to cut and then there's just like four groups needing life in here, right? So instead, you usually wind up having to play here and get into this result. Now, I don't know if that those kind of uh, tricksy Jiseki were on his mind or not, but he plays the 3-3, three, three, which is also really, really good. Because with the 3-3, three, three, you're threatening to go and grab an extension. And you are threatening, whoops, to also go and just settle here. You can do one or the other. And that is fantastic. Board sounds nice. What kind is it? Uh, I think I mentioned one stream a while back. It's like a two-inch... Agathis table board or something. So Legend 88 goes into the 3-3. And black picks or white picks his direction. He decides to play over here, and I like that he played over here. He didn't play over here, for example, to go all in on this side. This is something that you really wouldn't want to see. Because at best you're getting Four lines, fourth line territory, right? At best, that is like the dream. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine lines of four. At best, that is not a lot of territory, right? You don't you don't want to go all in on developing this area. I think we can all agree on that one. So, Y plays here, and black attaches. Now, there is no denying that this is going to get complicated. I'm going to have a nice little warning, warning, this is about to get complicated. Because white tries to go for a little bit much here. He's going to put on his greedy pants today. But to be fair, we can't really be surprised. That he's putting on his greedy pants. Because I have yet to see anyone play 
by four points, let alone two of them, and be like a solid, stable, rational individual. Especially at the amateur level, right? White will Hane, which is fine, which begets the cross cut, which is also fine. Should I show that? You know, I'm gonna show that. Do you wanna do you wanna see a variation that you never wanna play? Let's let's show you a variation you never wanna play here. Um Don't do this. If you're black here, don't play what I'm about to show you. Just ever. Cause it looks really interesting like you are about to just get massive amount of points right look at all these dead stones you're about to get but are you really because I do see this variation pop up now and again I do see this variation pop up now and again. And um, it's, it's terrible. Without even factoring in who the ladder works for, it's really terrible. Like, even if the ladder worked for you, let's say this ladder works for you, you're giving away an insanely strong wall in variation number one. Variation number two, the ladder doesn't work for you and you die. Variation number three, um, variation number three, something like this one, into this one, where you literally just kill two stones. So there's, a, there's like so many different ways to punish the greed of black trying to kill these stones that you never want to fall into this. So the whole pushing and trying to Atari and yeah, yeah, don't, don't do this. Don't do this. Don't do this. So the question now is, how on earth are you going to deal with this cutting stone? You can't ladder it. So what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Well, White decides to extend because what could go wrong? What, what do you do for next move? For black, what do you do? What do you do? Tengen? Nope. We have established Kuroshiro is not an intelligent person. F14. Swing and a miss. D13. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. So the first thing you want to do is you want to create cutting points. You want to create Aji, right? So there we go with that. Now, how is white going to protect against this? Because surely, surely, surely white is going to protect the cutting points, right? Right? Wrong. We're gonna have Captain McGreed Pants on our hands. Captain McGreed Pants does not believe in doing things like protecting cutting points. To be fair, this is not Sente. I mean, it's just not. He's, he's alive now, right? And even if he wasn't, he could start a fight here. 
So this is this is this is pretty awkward, which is why I guess White didn't want to do it. So White's like, I'm gonna play here. The hope is that Black has to defend, and then maybe White gets to go back and protect some shapey shapies, right? But no, he is not going to do that. Instead, he does a one-point jump. Now, this is probably where some people are going to be like, but that is not basic. But you know what? It, it's actually pretty basic in a way. He could play here first and then jump. But this... <laughs> If white can't read, the Atari is bad. That, that's not that's not Black's fault, you know. That's not Black's fault. That ain't that ain't Black's fault. So white extends. Black Hanes, because remember, this move is very unfortunate against white. So, plays the Hane. Now we're threatening to double Hane, which is instant death. Right? White plays the Atari. Black connects. Because again, if white plays like something else and black gets to play here, if white takes this stone with Atari Atari, then these three are. Whoops. Then these three stones die. At that point, that's pretty much game over. If these three stones die, that's, that's a GG. That is definitely GG. And there's no combination of Atari into playing here that's going to make these three stones live, right? So yes, Atari has to connect into Shapey Shapies, right? He has to play his cutting point. But that opens up another issue. Because this group has one, two, three, four, five liberties. It's quite strong. It's quite strong. That threatens a ladder. And now we can see that White's fundamental overplay is being punished harshly. White has to extend again. Black's like, okay. How long you want to do this, G? And White's like, I want to keep doing it. And Black's like, okay. And White's like, I'm going to do it again. And Black's like, okay. And then White's like, ha ha ha, you fuel. You have fallen into my trap. I have the influence now. Attacking you, I shall. Ha ha ha. Now... That, that's all big and scary, right? These stones here are under attack. That, that, that's, that, that's some scary stuff. That is some scary stuff. There is one problem. This isn't surrounded yet, and there's still a tiny little gap here. So, under attack. Yes, that is true. Severe, it is not. And let me test... Let me test you guys. Where do we play? Black's move now. 
let's not let let's let's try to do something about these stones over here. I'm holding a black stone, dude. Kama, mm, small knight. I like it. Yes. Everyone who said small knight, congratulations. Yeah, just just get out, just leave. That's all we're doing. White responds. Now, if there's the Hane, we can Hane back. Because we've just protected our shape. Ain't that sneaky? Ain't that sneaky? If we don't make this exchange and play here, it gets a little bit awkward. Because now, if we jump out, there's like this extra one. So it just fundamentally changes, right? Not having that move on the board previously before we begin this. This is like a cute little order of operations thing, you know? Uh, so yes, we played here, he played here, then we played that one, and White is like, I'm making points, and I'm going to surround you. And Black's like, new. No, none of what you just said is true. Attack, attack, attack. Being completely and utterly fine, you gotta like it. Oh, it's so sexy. Now, here's a question for my, I don't know, SDKs? What would you do if white played here? Do not say resign. Do not say resign. What would you do if white played here? Don't say resign. Atari it out. I do not like that answer. E8. I don't like any of your answers. See, I would play here. Right? And then I would play here. And then just do that one. What's white gonna do? Let me push through here? Now that that's not alive? That, that would be really, really bad. So he has to play here, and then you get to kill a stone. Now, maybe that's what you were looking for, but this would be the easier way of dealing with that. So, that is why I ask. Nice and simple variation. You are right? Cool. Cool, 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 cool. So, that said, white doesn't do that. White's like, I kill you! And black's like, no. And white's like, I kill you! And black's like, no. Uh, you. And white's like, I kill you? And black's like, nope. Nope, still nope. Still no, still no. That that'll that'll be a note for me, dog. Now he's trying to live. Hmm. <laughs> now this one. This is actually kind of interesting. Believe it or not, because what he's trying to do here is get enough liberties here to either Hane or force this and get to live here. It's it's an actually a pretty high it's a pretty big brain move from uh, from white, especially considering white is a five die. He's got some he's got some big brain ideas here. Enlarging the space. Can I kill you? Denied. 
requested, denied again. And then we see these beautiful moves once more. Now you might be saying, you might be saying to yourself at this point, chat, how far in the future do you have to read to know you can get away with it when these stones are not alive locally? If B19 is played, how many moves in advance do you have to read? What if I were to tell you you ready for this chat? What if I were to tell you the answer is zero? Let's assume this is dead. Right here, right now, this is dead. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Ten. Ten stones. Where is White's other territory? Where's White's other points? Why, why do we care about 20, 20 points for uh, white? 20, okay, 20, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 30. 30 points in the corner. Why do we care? We wouldn't. So screw all of that. Plays the Hane. Connects. Forcing our main man on the low lines. Connecting up that beautiful, oh, primo second line territory. Like, I don't know if you're a fan of second line territory, but oof. Black's like, are you dead? And white's like, hey, 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 hey. that's a funny question. I was going to ask you the same thing. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. It's probably dead. It's probably legit dead. Straight up, that thing is probably D E D dead. With a capital D. But no one cares. No one cares. Why would you care? Technically, it's, uh, you know, uh, possibly like a co. You could, like, do that or that or whatever. But even if it's even if it's dead, who cares? So instead of worrying about this crap, what do we do in basics? We play larger point. Now, marinate on this. Suppose this turned into territory. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Huh. Interesting. So if this is like four by six. And this is only like the 10 stones, then it, it seems okay. Right? Who cares? Who cares? White's like, bam, you're dead. Black's like, oh, you got me. You got me. I'm dead. You got me, partner. He, he, he got me. Rotten my vital point. Oh no. What am I gonna do? Oh, that's right. He, he's just gonna make a huge bloody wall in the middle of the board now. Because who cares? Who even cares? Rather than just try to live? Very, very important lesson, boys. Rather than just go back and live small with like one, two, three points, four, like he could have done. He could have taken B19. He could have done that. He doesn't care. There's the outside. There's other stuff to do. Right? Have to make sure that we're not dead here. Hurt, 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 hurt. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We're not going to talk about it. 
takes. One, two, three. Seems okay. Throws in again. All right. Seems, seems, seems down. Seems done. All ogre. Now, black's dead. Darn. Nope. The upper left is still available. And there's a huge honking amount of influence. So, uh, with Sente now, he takes large point. And makes it hard to approach the corner. What I like about this move when we've got so much influence, which I haven't seen this move in a long, long time. Like, if you play here, your textbook. Right? I can play here to reduce. If you play here, your textbook. I can shoulder hit the small knight. Right? Here it's tough. Here's a bit more tough. Requires a little bit more tanking. I have a question. Is that really the first capture? Yes. Okay. So play is there to make sure that there's no co shenanigans in the bottom left. Black continues to not care in the slightest that the stones are dead. But white says it's fine. I'm going to reduce you. I have solid points. I got Comey. I got the Comeys. It's all right. Black's like, all right, I guess we're going to be playing this way now. No problem. Trying to attack this, and I like Black's instant response. And Black's response, because he is Captain Calm, makes sure this group is A-O-K. Black, wait, Atari's? Black takes, giving Sente away. He does not care, mind you, because he's now nice and solid. Yes. White now gets to attack. And will defend. But to be fair, keep in mind how much territory even a move like this would make. Right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Uh, roughly thirty-six points here in the corner alone for uh, black. It's not bad. It's not black. Not even not even contemplating like this and this. That ain't, that ain't bad. That ain't bad. So. White says, no 36 points for you. And to be fair, rather than lose our mind by trying to, like, break out and attack everything now, Black's just like, okay. I'm, I'm taking my points. And the reason for this is Black understands a concept that as Amateurs, we are not comfortable with. He's looking at all of this crap, and he's like, dude, 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 dude. There is no way on this planet all of these weak stones are connecting up in one move. There's no way. H how would you do it? There's a, not a connection here. There's a small knight here. How are you going to protect the small knight and somehow link yourself here in a way that can't be cut? It, it can't be done. So rather than give him the opportunity 
to slide on in here now. Because we're going to counterattack and show him. No, he's just chilling. He's just chilling. Tries to connect. Doesn't even care. Could have gone for a desperate move to poke at the uh, elephant eye. Not even gonna. Not even gonna. Like, what's he gonna do? Hane now? Then he'll cut. If he keeps backing off, he gets six line territory. That's fine. That'd be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait, what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. You don't want to give ten lines of six line territory. I heard that's a bad thing. So this is up to white to figure out what to do to not give away ten lines of six. Right? Of the sixth. So black doesn't have to do anything special here. Doesn't have to do anything special. It's white to come up with moves like this, which still leave Aji behind. So... Threatens to push through. And white's gonna try to come up with moves like this to fix his shape. Now here is where you have to be a little bit careful. How strong are the players? Legend 88 is Professional, and Taijem 5 Dun is Taijem 5 Dun. True story. So, here's where you have to be careful though. Because it's tempting to just do something like this here and give away territory like this. And then maybe like this, and then suddenly your opponent's making like one, two, three, four, five lines in like the middle of the board. You gotta be careful about being too passive. Just because you're being solid doesn't mean you're being passive. Okay? So let's get that out of the way right now. And instead, Black says, nope. Your shape, bub. You've got shape issues. So White says, you're right, I do. Don't cut me, please. I will die horribly. All over the place. Which means Black gets to extend. That is an instance where you have a complete 180 on the variation. Variation 1, you back off, and suddenly your opponent might be getting like five lines of territory here. Variation number two, you notice that you can push through and cut the bejesus out of your opponent, keeping the man honest, so you get to extend right on in. Solid does not mean passive. Drops down to get a base and not be dead. At this point, Black is just happy to be making solid shapey shapies. While White just tries to uh, not die horribly. And sure enough, White starts fighting back now that he's nice and strong. So I like that. I like that. He's trying to... He's trying to get something done. Admittedly, you could play here right now and still have a fantastic game. There is no reason that you couldn't play this move. However, white is not strong everywhere, unlike black, and a new stone's been created and that small knight is still on the board. So once we realize a small knight can be cut, we remember solid does not mean passive. So we Atari's up. Just threatens to cut through. 
threatens the old cut through. White defends. And black escapes. Nice and simple. And all we had to do to get this position is just take note of the fact that that small knight there was just primed to be cut and that black's stones were nice and strong. If you've been making strong shape, you can afford to do things like this. You wouldn't do this if this group was really, really weak. Like, let's say, I don't know, for some reason or another, there was like a white stone here. So you only had three liberties. Then this would probably be somewhat insane. You probably wouldn't do it, you know? That, that wouldn't make a whole lot of sense. Or if for some reason there's like something else weak over here. You wouldn't start a brand new fight in the middle of the board. Because then you'd have like two weak things and you don't really know where that's going. So yeah. So yeah. White connects to reduce. Black's just like, mate. Mate, your shape. Your shape, bruv. Who can see the shape point? I'll give you a hint. I'll give you a hint. It's somewhere in this area. It's somewhere in this area. Who can find the shape point? Black's move. Q, third. Yeah, you got it. You got it. Good. Excellent. If white got to play here, that would be fantastic shape. Right, we're getting this in, we're getting that in. We've got like another thing over there. It's excellent. We play here, it threatens both simultaneously. Cause shape is uber importante. So connects. And white's like or black's like, thank you. Nom 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 nom. White bails on that. New plan. Kill the stones on the right hand side. Keep control of the shape. It has two liberties right now. And this is where white is just falling apart because he knows he has so many things to worry about. It's not even funny. He goes back and protects. Black's just like, all right, I'm going to end that fight now. Thank you. White's like, don't worry, I don't worry, I got it, I got it, I got it. Bam! I got the 3-3. Three, three. I got the 3-3. Three, three. It's no problem. Found, I, I got the 3-3. Three, three. <sighs> obvious block is obvious. And sure enough, even though this game was played a long time ago, we do see modern continuation. Because, yeah, turns out we were playing this crap even before the bots were. Wow. Who would have thunk it? Who would have thunk it? But unfortunately, that is not Sente. So once again, Black inquires about shape. And white's like, now is my chance. But black's like, no. What are you doing? I'm going to end you. All of you. Goes for some eyes. Goes for some eyes. Ah! Goes for some eyes. And at this point, white is alive. Right? Because he's going to be out. He's got like thingies over in here. There's like a thingy over here still for an eye. So this group for now is A-OK. -okay. So... 
Flock approaches the next open corner. Sente. Good move, good move, good move. Making sure he's nice and solid. Unfortunately, he's already alive. He's still already alive. So Black's like, I don't care about what you're doing. Your moves are slow. You were already alive. You're still already alive. So I'm going to play bigger moves now. And now we have a capture. Like Sue. Get back in line with the others. Good boy. And then... Takes territory. That's awkward. Should resign, yes, but... Because he doesn't resign yet, we get to see a nice, amazing ending. Looks like we're going into end game. Black's like, oh cat, I will respond now. How are you alive? And white is like, you fuel, I did not need to live. I can still escape. Now the problem with that is that was one of the two eyes you needed to live. And, uh, spoiler, poking this is Sente. So once again, we've got, uh, we got, we got the greedy guy going on again. He could have just been a he could have just been alive. But he put on his greed hat. That means, since he's not alive locally, he can be attacked for profit. For example, you develop top of the board. Or just try to kill you. You know, one of the two. Tries to poke in. The back off is just profiting. This is such a bad idea. You do not want to take that. Who can tell me why? Why is forcing the sequence extremely bad? Who knows? H10. Huh? Oh, shoot. Sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I forgot. Push. Put. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. Yeah. Push, block, and then do that. You're right. Does not get to play twice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doesn't get to play twice. Doesn't get to play twice. My my brain was running ahead of where I wanted to say, and I forgot to play the move. Did someone say it? Can get cut now. Yeah, there's a cut here, right? There's a cut here now because you force that exchange before. If you go to cut. There would have been a double Atari on this stone and this stone, but not anymore. So that's gone. So the minute Greedy Pants guy connects, picked up more territory. Trying to fight back, trying to kill off these stones. He's, oh, he's still trying. He's the little engine that almost threatened to push and cut through. Dodge that one. And then finally gave up. Because really, there's no way to disconnect those. No one move does it. And he's just like way crazy behind. So he finally calls it quits. Finally calls it quits. What? What do you mean by played twice? No, I forgot to fill in the move after here. To be fair, 
we saw a lot of greedy plays by White and a lot of amazing whole board thinking from Black here. Like, a lot of people would probably have chosen to just go back and live here with four points, right? Just go back here and make the life here for Black. But White was like, you know what? At worst, this is like 10 stones dead. I can threaten to develop here because this is actually too small to worry about if it dies right now. So he built up this huge thing while his opponent was going nom 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 nom. And it was just not enough. It was so small being on the second line here and just killing these itsy bitsy stones. Even without the cutoff, right? You've still got black up by like 40 bloody points. Even if these stones don't get cut off. With these stones cut off, it's like 70. It's crazy. Crazy. Who's led to 88 in real life? Who knows? I do not know, nor do I care. I just appreciate the ever-loving crap of coming across his games. Because most pros that ranked up did it with trick play garbage at 10 second go. They would like try to get you into the Taisha. They would just try to pull off some weird, like, long-winded, complicated variations. They know the amateur is going to make a mistake. Game over, next game. Because they needed to, they just, they just want to get to 9 Don. Like, having an entire series where he just played nice and calm stuff was fan absolutely fantastic.